Vue 3 has a new built-in component called Teleport. As the name suggests, it allows you to teleport part of a component's template into an element that lives outside of the Vue application. Sometimes you might have part of a component's template that logically belongs there, but visually it should be displayed outside of the view application. This is very common when working with modals, pop-ups, or other elements that require a specific position in the DOM tree. Let's take a look at a common example where the teleport component would be useful. Here we have a simple card component which is rendering some basic information about a user. We also might want to include a modal containing some additional information. For this we have a component called baseModal.View. Within this component we have a button to open the modal and then our modal content. To hide and show this modal we have a few functions to update a ref called isModalOpen hooked up to a VF directive on the modal ref div. Ideally, grouping logic into the same component like we are here is great practice for maintaining your code. But visually when it comes to the UI, this can lead to some unexpected behavior. First, our component with the class of card or any class higher in the DOM tree can have an effect on the appearance of our modal. For example, you wouldn't commonly do this, but if we add an opacity to our card of 0.9, we can see that our modal is going to be affected by this since it's nested within our component. Secondly, we always want to guarantee that our modal sits on top of the DOM tree. Within a small application, this might not seem like a challenge since we can just use the Z-index property to layer our modal on top of everything. However, this can become quite messy and get out of hand very quickly as your application continues to grow. All these potential problems can be eliminated with the use of the teleport component. Let's take a look at how we would implement this. In our case, we only want to teleport our modal within this component. To start, we just need to wrap our modal within teleport tags. This is built into view, so there's no need to worry about importing it. The component also accepts a required prop of two, which specifies where you want this to be teleported. In our case, we can just specify the body. This might sound familiar as in a project without any framework, we usually position modals or pop-ups just before the closing body tag. You can also navigate into the index.html file and create a new div and give it an ID, then target the teleport components to prop to that new div with the ID you just specified within the index.html file. With this setup, the component will now render our modal outside of the view application. If we inspect our app, we will see we have a div with the ID of app. This is where our view application is injected into. Now if we trigger our modal to open, you'll see we have the modal markup which we wrapped in the teleport component now inside of our body tag. Although the content within this component has been moved outside of our view application, we still have access to all the logic of this component, as the teleport component only alters the DOM structure. Now, we might not always want to display our modal using the teleport component. For example, on a mobile device, we may want to display our modal in line. We have the ability to conditionally render this modal to output within the teleport component by using another prop called disabled. We can pass in a data value of is mobile to only render this component if our app is not on a mobile device. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for the teleport component. Hopefully now you'll be able to improve your view applications by incorporating this component. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to scroll down and drop a like on it, as this really does help out the channel. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.